Masking in DaVinci Resolve. Like a lot of things in Resolve, it feels like there's 12 different ways to get it done, but none of those ways are as easy as just dragging a mask effect onto footage on your timeline. Until now. Today, I'm releasing a pack of five super simple drag and drop effects for bare bones masking on the edit page. If you follow the link in the description, that will get you to a download page uh, for this SSC Masks DRFX. Now, like a lot of my more uh, recent presets and plugins, this pack will be free for one week. That's a little reward for people who stay up to date with the channel, and after that time, it will go behind a small paywall, but I also feel like these effects are a really great example to show off um, some really cool systems, especially in the Fusion page, and especially building custom uh, edit page effects. So I do plan on following up this video uh, with a tutorial showing you exactly Exactly how you can create uh, similar effects completely on your own. So if you're watching this video more than a week from now, you can pick up this pack for a few bucks, super simple, all the work's done for you, drag and drop, or you can hop over to uh, that next video, learn how to do it yourself. Fun. But once you have this DRFX, just double click to install that right into Resolve. And then here I'm on the edit page in my uh, effects library. I have effects, Sterling Supply Co. And then I have these SSC mask effects. I have five different effects. I have five different clips on my timeline here. Let's start going through them. First one is this mask rectangle. That's the one I showed off before. I'm dragging that right to the clip and boom, we have a rectangle mask. And if I make sure my inspector is open, come over to effects, we have all the custom controls for this effect. I can go to the soften the edge a little bit, expand that edge. Uh, I can invert the mask if I want. I have this border style. Um, this is especially evident if I pull up this border width and then change that style to round the corners or you know do that like side cap deal. Uh, I can change the position just of the mask, height and width, except I said those wrong, <laughs> corner radius to round that out, even getting you to this circle. But we have another circle coming soon. And then we have uh, angle, of course. And then we even have a nice little outline. I clicked that and it's not showing because I pulled up this border width for uh, this shape first. The outline has a separate border width. So if I pull this border width back down to zero, now we will see that outline and this outline thickness controls the, uh, uh, the, the border width of that. And you can also soften that as well and change the color for that. Super awesome, super simple, drag and drop. And another reason I really like these presets is because in your viewer, you can come down to this drop down here, make sure you're on Fusion Overlay, and if you toggle that on, um, you have these uh, little more tactile controls for a lot of these. You can move the mask around, and even on the edge, it's a little harder to see. You have this green line to pull in those uh, width and height just uh, you know, with your mouse in the viewer, a lot easier than like dragging around a lot of these controls, especially the center or the angle. You can just drag this around however you want and it's done. Now, the mask ellipse filter is very similar to that. A lot of those same controls. But after that, that is where uh, things get a little more complicated, but a little more exciting too. Because after that, um, we have uh, two masks. That's four point and eight point. I'm going to drag on four point to this next one. And by default, hey, it's another box. But if you look in uh, the uh, effects section of the inspector, you also have this polyline here. And it doesn't look like you can do too much with that. But if your fusion view uh, overlay is here, then you can see I have the same green box. But now I have points at these corners. And hey, I can click any of those points and just move it around. Really, really cool. And also you have these handles if you want to smooth this out or do some funky stuff there, you can make it happen. And I wasn't sure if I was gonna show this off. You can even right click on this, come to uh, this polygon option. You have a bunch of extra options, um, including um, importantly, this linear and smooth. I've added some easing here. But if I click linear, that will straighten them perfectly all back out. This is another option. It just gives you more control, especially you have some uh, funky uh, shapes in your scene you wanna mask out. And it's the same deal with this mask eight point, except you have eight points. And don't worry, if you click anywhere else on the mask, you can't add or remove any of these points. Oh, uh, you can remove them. Uh, so I guess, hey, if you're working on the eight, you can always select one and delete it if you want to. Um, you can always undo that or apply a fresh version of that eight point, but hey, up to eight points. And then the last one we have, really cool, this mask custom. If I drag this onto this last clip here, nothing changes. But if I go over to effects, uh, we still have that polyline. And the only thing you might notice different here is that it, by default, it is inverted. Um, and that's because if I uncheck this, our scene completely goes away. So it's uh, inverted for reference. But um, what I can do here is just click in my scene, you'll see it adds a point, And I can draw whatever mask I want, even adding um, like tons of easing on the shape. And if I circle that back up, it will uh, mask that area out. 
and then we can undo this invert setting and boom we have this completely custom mask that we can you know add to even add points in the middle of these lines change them after the fact tons of cool stuff you have the same outline options for that you have these same like styles for whether you want these to be like pointy or rounded a lot of those same controls you know that that width that soft edge tons of control on this custom preset um there are a few more ways you could get yourself in trouble if you're if you're clicking around especially if you are still in the process of drawing that line it will always add a point when you're done uh, so it can get a little tricky um, mess around with it and you'll probably get up to speed pretty quick but um there's nothing else quite like this in the inspector, you do have these like cropping options, but those are funky. Although if you don't know, um, there is also a crop view here, which does make it a little easier to just drag those in. But still, it's it's it's, it's not masks. And now, hey, you have masks. Last thing, say you've got this interesting shape and now you've had it mask and you want to just move the entire thing around your scene. In the effect, this center, remember, only moves the mask. And if you go back to video and change that position, that will only move uh, the shape inside the mask. So ideally, you would roughly position the footage where you want it and then add a mask over and you can control those individually. Uh, if you want to control them all at once, um, you can always right click, make a compound clip of that uh, whole uh, clip with the effect on it. And then if you change the position, it will change both of them over each other. That's just a little tip right at the end there. But I'm super excited for this pack. I think it is um, especially high utility for how simple it is. Yes, you could always jump in the Fusion page with a few clicks, get up and running. Uh, but I think a lot of the big value of Fusion effects of this system is that you can combine a lot of these processes, save yourself a few clicks, save yourselves a few minutes every time you want a simple mask. If you want a super simple, just like picture in picture effect without any animation, uh, just drop a mask, drop an outline on that, you're good to go. And this effect is super lightweight. It should play back great. This pack is available now at the link in the description. And like I said, if you are watching this in the first week, uh, don't miss out on it because um, it'll be free. And whether you pick it up or not, uh, stick around for that follow-up video uh, going through how I made these. It's it's super simple. It's really cool. I'm excited to show it off to you, get you all excited about uh, things you could possibly create to make your lives easier working in Resolve. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.